18, let's review our memory work. Hi everybody, week 18, let's review our memory work for this week. Our English, you learned a chant, it goes. The predicate is that part of a sentence that says something about the subject. The predicate is that part of a sentence that says something about the subject. And then you can slow it down. The predicate is that part of a sentence that says something about the subject. The predicate is that part of a sentence that says something about the subject. All right, so you can keep practicing that. You can go faster, you can go slower, whatever you want to practice to learn the sentence parts predicate. All right, let's look at Latin now. Latin, we are in John 1 verse 5, and it says, et lux in tenebris lucet, and that is, and the light shineth in the darkness. All right, so if you'll remember in Latin, sometimes it doesn't go in the same order as English does. So we have et lux, so and the light. So um, for light, we'll just kind of do boing. So it's like a little light coming up, okay? So et lux in tenebris, so that's darkness. Tenebris is darkness. We're gonna Put our hands over our eyes like we're in the dark, okay? All right, so et lux in tenebris, lucet, and lucet is shineth, so we're gonna just shine, okay? So we have et lux in tenebris, lucet. All right, so you can practice that too. Let's move on to math. We have the area of a triangle. You learned a song to go with this this week for the area of a triangle equals one half base times height. So we've got the base, and we're gonna go one half across the base and go up for height, okay? And it goes like this. The area of a triangle equals one half base times height. The area of a triangle equals one half base times height. One half base times height. One half base times height. The area of a triangle equals one half base times height. Well, good. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? All right, our history this week. Tell me about Pearl Harbor. So we had some hand motions to go with it and a song. Let's review our hand motions first. And then we'll sing the song. On December 7th, so we're gonna just put up seven fingers, not necessarily the sign language seven, but we're just gonna hold up seven fingers, okay? On December 7th, 1941. So you can do a four and a one if you want to do 41, but sometimes we might sing it a little bit faster and it's hard to get all of that in. On December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed. So we're gonna put our hands together and kind of do an explosion because that's kind of like a bomb. So bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. So in Hawaii, sometimes they're known for little hula dances. So we're gonna do like a little hula dance for Hawaii, which um, kind of makes the song a little bit um, happier because it's not really a happy song. So, um, in Hawaii, causing the United States, so we're gonna put our hands over our hearts, like we're saying the Pledge of Allegiance um, for United States, to join the allies in world, so W for world, war, W for war, and we're just gonna hold up two fingers for two, okay? So. Let's say that all with our hand motions. Here we go. On December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, causing the United States to join the Allies in World War II. Okay? So 
So here's the song with the hand motions. Mm -hmm. On December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, causing the United States to join the Allies in World War II. On December 7th, 1941, the Japanese bombed Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, causing the United States to join the Allies in World War II. All right, good job everybody. Um, let's move on to science and then we'll do our uh, map and timeline. So let's look at our science. We have what are the third, fourth, <laughs> what are the third four elements in the periodic table by number, element, symbol, and mass. So, um, this time we have nine, fluorine, F19. Then we have 10, neon, NE20. Then we have 11, sodium, NA23. And then we have 12, Magnesium, MG24. Whew, that's a lot of information. So, um, we did a song. I know the in week 16, we started the Shake It Off. Is that what it's called? Yeah, mm -hmm. song. And if you want to find that in, um, if your parents want to find that in the YouTube, they can search for Shelly Normand and find that song. Um, so you can sing that to the tune of that. And then while you're singing it, you could also do for nine fluorine F19, you can just go down to the floor. So fluorine kind of makes us think of a, of a floor. So we'll do that, okay? And then for 10 neon NE20, you can just tap your knees. You can do a little dance with your knees whatever for neon get it all right then for 11 sodium na23 you can do um some people call it soda some people call it pop some people just call it coke so it depends on where you're from but this is sodium so we're gonna pretend like it's soda okay so all right it's not really soda but anyways just to help us remember. And then for 12, magnesium, MG24. Um, magnesium, we can just kind of go, all right? Just something to help you remember. Or, you know what, maybe at home you can think of something else that helps you remember that. So, whatever that is, that's great. All right, let's move on to our timeline cards and then we'll do our geography last, okay? So here we are. Our first one this week is Cherokee Trail of Tears. So for that, our hand motion for that is we're going to kind of do a feather from our nose to our ear, okay? So Cherokee Trail of Tears. So we're gonna put our, our hand right up on our face and kind of wiggle our fingers to show tears on our face, okay? All right, so Cherokee Trail of Tears. Our next one is U.S. Westward Expansion. So for that one, the United States is kind of known as a melting pot. It's a bunch of different countries that came together. And so we can put our hands together and go like this for United, or for U.S. Um, also, just a little side note here, there are so many hand motions that we could do. Um, so you get to choose what's gonna help you remember because this is for you to remember the timeline, um, not for you to remember every single one of the hand motions, okay? So, so U.S. westward, we're gonna put our hand up and do a W and move over to the side. So. U.S. Westward Expansion. 
okay? And then the next one we have, Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. So Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. So communism is um, known for like a hand motion that goes up like this and out, a fist out. So you're gonna do that and then you're gonna write because um, he published the manifesto, which was a writing, okay? So Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto, okay? Next up, we have the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott Decision. All right, so the Compromise, we're gonna put one finger out and one finger here on our forehead, and we're gonna come together. So you can just hold this, oh, good, thank you. The Compromise of 1850 and then um, slavery was what um, the Dred Scott decision was about. Um, uh, the, the courts decided that Dred Scott was still a slave. So um, we're gonna make the, the sign, like our hands are bound for the Dred Scott decision. All right, next up we have U.S. restores trade with Japan. So there's a lot of hand motions we can do with this. So um, put your hands together again um, for U.S. restores trade. So we're going to trade with Japan. So Japan is that little island and it's kind of kidney shaped. So we're going to make the little hand motion for that. So U.S. restores trade with Japan. All right, next up we have British Queen Victoria rule, Victoria's rule over India. So British, um, we're going to shake our hands like this. You good? Shake our hands. British Queen Victoria. So we're gonna make a V for Victoria and we're gonna do like the sash that we've done before. So British Queen Victoria's rule over India. So rule is, um, so it's kind of like you have reins, so you're gonna make hooks with your fingers and make reins, like you're um, reining a horse. Um, so that's rule over India. So that one has a lot of hand motion, so you can decide at home what you wanna do. So, all right, so British Queen Victoria's rule over India. Okay, and then, Last, we have Darwin publishes the origin of species. So there are some different things we can do on this one. So make a D for Darwin. Um, he published it, so he wrote it. So we're gonna write on our hand. And then um, the origin of species. So the beginning, we'll put our hand up like this, put our finger between our other fingers and like twist it like you're starting up a car. Um, of course, nowadays, some people don't even do have to do that. But anyways, all right. Um, so Darwin publishes The Origin of Species. All right, let's go through those one more time. You can just set it down as I do the hand motions, okay? okay. So you hold it up, I'll do the hand motions, and then set it down instead of flipping it behind. Okay, gotcha. here we go. All right, we'll start with... Cherokee Trail of Tears, U.S. Westward Expansion, Marx, so Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto, the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott Decision, U.S restores trade with Japan. Sorry, it's kind of going slow. <laughs> British Queen Victoria's rule over India. Darwin publishes the origin of species. All right, we're gonna move on to our map. 
All right, let's look at our map today. And today we're going to do the rivers on the west side of the United States. So if you look at the whole United States, the west side is over on this side. So we're gonna look over on this side. And the first one we're gonna go to is the Colorado River. So let's find the Colorado River. All right, let's back up just a smidge here, okay? All right, so the Colorado River starts right here and it goes right through here, okay? So if you look on your map, it says Colorado River, right there. All right, next up, we're gonna go to the Red River. Let's look for the Red River. All right, did we find it? Oh, I see it. All right, here is the Red River. So the Red River, we're gonna go right this way down here and oh, look, it meets up with the Mississippi River. You know where that is. And then it goes on out to the Gulf of Mexico. Alrighty, the Mississippi River does. All right, next up, we're going to go to the Rio Grande River. So Rio means river and Grande means big. So it's a big river river. All right, so we're gonna start row over here. Wow, my eyes. Okay, we're gonna go right here and go all the way down here. All right, well, yeah, right over here. Okay, sorry. And next up we have the Columbia River. So we're gonna go right up here to the Columbia River. Um, not so close. All righty, so Columbia River is right here. And so that's gonna go, do, 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 do. All right, and then last up, we have the Great Salt Lake, which doesn't sound like a river, but we're gonna find it. All right, Great Salt Lake. Here's our words, Great Salt Lake, and here is our Great Salt Lake. All right, great job, everybody, finding the rivers on our map and doing all of the things Today. So I hope y'all have a great week. You all just work really hard at learning all of your um, memory work and we will see you next week. Bye. Bye.